Hello and welcome to a Space Engineer's tutorial video. In this episode, we will cover how to make custom control surfaces for the plane parts mod. First off, what are control surfaces? Simply put, it's what makes airplanes do airplane things such as pitch, roll, and yaw. Roll is controlled by the ailerons, typically located at the wing's trailing edge. The pitch is controlled by the elevators, typically located at the tail of the aircraft. And yaw is controlled by the rudder, typically located at the vertical stabilizer of the tail. Now that we know what the control surfaces are, let's build a quick sample airplane. Let's start off with a basic fuselage. You can start the build however you want. For this tutorial, I'll be starting from the landing gear. You can follow along building the plane, or you can skip ahead where we start working on the surfaces. Remember to name your rotors or hinges accordingly, so configuring them later on will be easier. When placing a wing block for the surfaces, it is recommended to place the center of mass behind the rotor's rotational axis. This prevents weird jittering when the surfaces move in flight. Placing a 1x5 wing block back to back will be sufficient for this tutorial. Let's not forget to add sufficient power sources for our thrusters. Once wing blocks have been placed on the rotors, it's time to configure the script. The script we will be using is Kijin's Custom Plane Controls Beta. This allows the cockpit to control the assigned rotors with the mouse and keyboard movements. Link to the script in the description below. Once you have the script running, you will see on the right side of the control panel that there are zero rotors assigned to anything. To assign rotors, 
we will need to group them according to what we named them before. Roll to ailerons, pitch to elevators, and yaw to rudder. Go back to the programmable block and recompile. You should see the rotor assignments update. Now, check your surfaces if they move correctly. If one side is inverted, assign the rotor with the incorrect direction with invert pitch, roll, or yaw. Placing limits is recommended so that the surfaces don't overextend and make you lose control in flight. One more important thing to remember is to assign the wing blocks on the control surfaces to apply lift to grid instead of ship. Otherwise, the rotors will not be able to move properly and the surfaces won't move the plane. Once you have the correct settings, do a test flight. You can assign your thrusters into a group so you can have overrides on the toolbar. This frees you from having to press W constantly. If you notice, your plane may be pitching up or down, depending on the balance of the aircraft. To fix this, go into the elevator rotor's custom data and apply opposite values to the left or right. Some fine tuning will be required until you can maintain relatively level flight. Sometimes, adding a gyroscope on low power override fixes small drift issues. This isn't exactly required, but it can help in certain cases. Once we're satisfied with settings, you're done. Let's lead in for a landing. And there we have it, an airplane in space engineers that doesn't need a gyroscope to maneuver. And that's it. You can further experiment with other types of aircraft, from biplanes and triplanes to modern jets and sci-fi aircraft. This control method can be applied to any wing mod that has Digi's lift script. It also can be applied to Drago's aerodynamic drag and reentry mod although it will be way more difficult to do so. Good luck and happy building!